Okay, this is a follow-up video to my O-ring video, and there is a great amount of confusion about the O-rings and the chamber seal, and what's what, and we need to get some clarity on that. Okay, so in the background, we see three different products from the store that are O-rings, okay? So let's make it clear, for your 880, those are all nitro O-rings, 70 hardness, with my preferred brand and kit, for your 880 being the Danco 200 assorted plumbing o-rings which is the number for that is 34443 okay now so let's get into this because there has been just confusion about this so i said in another video that these doormen are i'm sure are good for their intended use but not a good fit here and i'm going to go through and demonstrate now why you may be, in fact, best off. Here is the seal kit from Daisy. Why you may be best off just ordering these uh, from Daisy. Just a buck a piece. I would say order three. Shipping and handling on little stuff is a few bucks. And it has all the parts, just not O-rings. Because you have to understand, if it's not an O-ring problem, if it is a chamber seal problem, then this is the part you're going to need. And you should just order the whole kit because it has you covered. But let's say it is an O-ring problem. But... Let's get to that. So what does an O-ring problem look like? Okay, on my 22X many years ago, it stopped holding pressure. I mean, I would pump the gun. It would go past the chamber seal, but there was a blown out O-ring in back when I took it apart. It wasn't working, and air would just flow out. Now, there can be problems in here in the valve area, but on any of my 880s including my favorite which is going on over 25 years old I've changed the seals here new chamber seal new seal here and it has not had any problems with the valve yet so maybe I've been lucky but many times when you pump your gun and it holds no pressure it's it's not the valve it's not this it's not the um oh sorry it's not the check valve here it's not your chamber seal it is a blown o-ring there's one in here, there's one there, and one on your pump head. And so that I've seen personally, and it behaves differently. When it is a chamber seal issue, your pump fights you. There can be some problems with the latch that holds your pump, and that just means it drops open like this. It's quite another thing for your pump, if you imagine this is your pump, swinging hard forward like this, swing. That, it means that your check valve is not checking the air okay so it goes over the top as you pump 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 and then the back of it checks the air and keeps it in your gun when this starts to fail the air fights you and your pump like this little sword here flies forward okay that's a chamber seal issue that's not your o-ring but okay so now we got that sorted out let's look at why you have to be careful going to the store thinking that all o-rings are the same technically these are supposed to all be nitrile 113 uh, 70 hardness o-rings but let's see what happens okay so this is the one i say to absolutely stay away from for this use not that it's not right for what they well for what they mean it for but okay it's very thin and i'm going to demonstrate what happens when we put it on here and we put the pump tube on there and that's the one that's faulty and you got to know what that looks like okay now, it's important you know that some of the complaints I get about their guns uh, malfunctioning is they can't keep the pump tube back here on the barrel assembly. Okay, so that many times is absolutely a problem with the O-ring. So, let's take a look. Okay, so that looks okay. It's okay, but no, not good enough. Okay, it's not what we want. We want very good is what we're shooting for. So that's from the Dorman kit. Now I'm taking one thumb, one finger... And pulling okay that's just too easy guys that just came off that so what's gonna happen when you're pumping it likely will start to migrate forward and come off okay you remember this o-ring here does two jobs it locks on your pump tube and seals okay and on my 22x when that blew out my gun would not maintain any air at all okay so let's get that off and get the next one up now Okay, so that is a no-go. So, again, I'm sorry. I'm sure it's good for whatever they meant for in the auto store, but this this brand has to go. It's just not for this use. Again, I don't want to start a war with Dorman. It's just not for your daisy. Okay, so we take that out of the picture. 
and we focus just on these guys right here. Okay, Storehouse and Danco. With Danco, obviously, you know, Storehouse does a couple different things. These guys just focus on O-rings and, and related products. Okay, so now we're going to try the Storehouse. Now, the Storehouse I recently used for the P17, and it did really nice work. Okay, and that's three months on now with Storehouse Nitro rings from two of them from this kit. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, we're looking for 113. So Danco has its own system. Danco calls those number 11s. But we're looking for 113. And that is right up here in the corner. So we're going to take that out. Okay. And we'll put that on there. And see how that performs. Now, again, it has to lock it on there firmly or it's not going to do a good job. Okay, so that is a storehouse 113. Okay, so then we put back on our pump tube, and let's see how good of a... Okay, so that looks pretty good. That looks better. So let's see how easy of a time do I have taking that off. Okay, that's better. I can't... It... Still a little on the soft side. Not that fantastic. That's, that would still not be my first choice. So for this gun, for a Daisy, works great in, in the P17, but for the Daisy, that would still not be my first choice. Good kit for the P17, though. Uh, and let's talk about the price now. So, okay, so you're talking, between these two, you're talking 6 bucks and $11. Yes, twice the price for the Dancos. But you're talking about a situation where it's $6 compared to 11 not $6 compared to $100 or $60 or even $20. So let's look at the Danco now. So the Danco has another system. So theirs is number 11 right here. So let's go ahead and it's still 113, but again, they have their own thing. Okay, so let's take a look and see what that looks like. All right. So when we put a Danco seal on there on the back, and then we put back on your pump tube. All right, now how hard, how much? Okay, now I'm having to exert quite a bit of force there to get that thing on there and that's very good okay that's just not good that's very good and, and identical to your oems with actually a little slight better quality control um i asked the customer service at daisy the one of the managers a while back what about their o-rings and she told me it's made in china okay thank you I, I, okay uh danco's customer services what they do is o-rings they made it clear that that uh, quick kit is 70 hardness nitro o-rings and yes they're made in china okay so you saw how well that went on there so now let's take it off and, okay, now I can't easily with a forefinger and a thumb pull that off. That is on there and that's what you want. So unfortunately, actually, I thought that the storehouse would perform a little better than that, honestly, and it, it didn't. I was able to pull that off pretty easily. But how, how firmly this is locked, seal and lock right here, that thing, I have to put some good amount of force to pull that off and that's what you want. So Danco's a winner. And I would please ask you, if you don't have any of those kits and you're working on Daisy guns, including a Grizzly 1910 901, is if it's an O-ring problem, please go with the Danco kit. So um, that is a hit, and I've gotten good reports back. But remember, as I said, with the chamber seal, your gun not holding any pressure, go to the store, and that's an O-ring problem. But if your pump is fighting you, that is a chamber seal problem. Now, I want to conclude by saying the nice thing about the chamber seal issue is you can take your gun apart and you clean this off. It, the, gr the grease, unfortunately, because of motor oil, it's not really fine like super lube silicone O-ring oil or ballastol, which don't build up. But the grease, is, the grease from motor oil can build up and you can just clean this off and put your gun back together. Okay, just clean this off here. And many times it will work again because the chamber seal will activate correctly. It will actually do its job when you get the grease off of it. And then you clean out your pump tube also. Make sure you clean that out. Clean that out, clean off your chamber seal, and then put it back together. You know, just make sure, it, make sure it's all the grime's all off it. And many times that will be good enough so that you have a working gun again. And you only do that when your pump handle is literally like this little sword flying forward. Flying forward out of your hand as you're pumping it. Otherwise, if your gun's not holding pressure and your pump handle is not flying out of your hand, you can go to the store and get this Danco 
o-ring treasure chest as i call it and you're good to go on uh, pump repairs on the pump too on all your daisies uh, and i'll see uh, crossman at least going crossman i know 760 and m4 okay thank you